Hi guys, this is Otis Collier, your internet MLM training coach. And today I want to give you a quick tip about your domain name. And I want to focus on this because I've done it wrong and I have thus uh, since seen the light. Um, last year I was involved in different affiliate products and tools and uh, even got involved in a couple of different companies, programs. And so every time that I got a new tool or I got a new program that I was promoting, I would go out and create a new domain name and start driving my traffic to that new domain name. And that was all fine. Um, but this year, here's the problem that I see that's happening. And I won't say that it's a problem, but it's missed opportunity. There are programs that I'm no longer involved in that I was promoting last year. There are affiliate links or um, web domains that I purchased last year that I'm no longer marketing. However, the interesting thing is I'm still getting emails from people who are requesting more information, who want to join those programs, who want to get involved. And the problem is that I'm no longer supporting those types of programs. Um, if you guys have re reviewed some of my videos previously, I told you that my focus is on one program and I'm going to just be building that one particular program. So I'm not going to be jumping around from program to program. Um, but what I noticed is, is that last year I did a lot of work in getting my videos out. Uh, video marketing is probably the number one way that I drive traffic to my sites. And I put video on YouTube, Meta Cafe, um, Yahoo Video, and uh, just all over the place. I got video all over the place. And so even when I started pulling videos down off of my YouTube, I still had videos that were in other places. And to my amazement, every week I get someone that's trying to join or trying to opt in to a program that I promoted last year. And I look at that as a missed opportunity to really redirect them to the things that I'm doing today. Um, and the reason why it's a missed opportunity is because I didn't concentrate all of my marketing efforts on one single domain. That's important. Concentrating your efforts on one single domain. Now, here's what I suggest that you do. And I suggest that you buy one domain that's going to be your staple point and that's going to be the domain that you talk about in every video in every article marketing that you do um, in every Squidoo page every hub page you want to talk about that one particular domain okay now one of the things that I do do because a lot of people may get confused about well Otis you said you're gonna stick with one program but you're referring me to this tool or you're referring me to this particular product and that's part of building multiple streams within your list. So my one product, if you will, my one thing that I'm focused on is InternetMLMTraining.com. That's all I'm focused on. Everything falls through InternetMLMTraining.com. And when I get you on my subscriber list or my mailing list, then I'm able to follow up with you week after week. And we'll, I'm able to talk about different types of strategies. So there's marketing strategies that I talk about. There's different tools that I talk about. And in those types of situations, I will refer you to a tool or I'll refer you to a good ebook that I recommend. And those may be affiliate products. And so, of course, I'm going to receive some commission on that. So I don't, I don't call that as as going away from my main product or my main thing because my main thing is internetmlmtraining.com but what I do is um, I use subdomains or sub extensions of my main uh, web, web domain so for example I did a video yesterday or the day before and I told you to go to um, internetmlmtraining.com forward slash feeder and in that particular folder, you were able to see some interesting information about a feeder program that I'm recommending. Okay? But I'm still focused on internet MLMtraining.com. We'll always be focused on that. I'm not going to deviate from internet MLMtraining.com. Now, 
as I begin to get my videos all over the web and I begin to post things all over the web, now, a year from now, when people are coming back to take a look at something that I did um, last year in, in my video, they will always see internetmlmtraining.com. And if the affiliate program that I was recommending, if that tool no longer works or no longer is valid, I can always change that to something else or I can redirect that page back to the main page or even if the page goes down for that particular folder, people will be able to go back and say, well, let me see what's going on with internetmlmtraining.com. You know, that happens all the time. I do that all the time when somebody sends me to internetmlmtraining.com forward slash feeder. I look at the feeder page, but then I want to see the main page. So I just erase back to the dot com to see what is the main staple of the page. And so if you're focusing, concentrating your efforts on this one domain, years from now, when your videos are out there, because my videos are out there from last year and I'm still getting traffic from those videos, it will be traffic that's directed to the website that you own, that you are really focused on concentrating with. So, you know, that's my tip for today. Get one domain, stick with that domain. If you decide that you want to promote affiliate products or you want to promote something else, do a subdomain or do a, um, an extension folder of that domain, but still recommend and use that one particular domain. And I hope that makes a lot of sense to you. This is Otis Collier, again, your internet MLM training coach. If you'd like to find out more about what I'm doing in my business, please visit me at www.internetmlmtraining.com. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.